We'll guide you through how to fix the Wi-Fi option not showing in Windows 11. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This problem can be really annoying because then you can't go and connect to Wi-Fi and then you can't go and use the internet. So it's just annoying as you can't fully use your computer. We've got some different fixes we can try, so let's get started. First of all, come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and go and type in it device manager. Click on it and it's gonna open up. Now you need to come down the list here and find the option for network adapters. Click the arrow to the left to expand it. Now what you need to do is go and find your adapter. If you've got multiple here, don't worry. What you want to do is make sure they're all enabled. If they're disabled, they have a little gray icon on it. And when you right click on it, you'll see the option for enable device. So make sure that they're all enabled. After you've done that, you can then click on the internet button at the bottom. And as you can see, we've now gone and fixed it and I can use it again. If that solves your problem, then great. If it doesn't, find your adapter, right click on it and click on update device. We can do an automatic search and it's gonna see if there's anything available. If there is an update, let it run through and then you can see if it's then showing again. If it still isn't, then you want to come to the bottom and click on the start button and in pinned, find settings. If you can't see it, search for it. Then come over to the left and find the option for network and internet. And you want to go and scroll down to the bottom and find advanced network settings. In here, you then want to scroll down to more settings and find the option for network reset. So what we can do is go and reset all the network adapters. If there's some sort of a problem here, it can go and fix it as it's gonna go and reinstall them as well. So all you need to do is go and press reset now, confirm your decision, and then what's gonna happen is that your computer will shortly go and restart. And when it starts again, the reset will have gone through and hopefully that will solve your problem.